Yeah, I'm the first to admit that without Tom, I'd be, yeah, in big trouble. <laughs> I struggle to think of someone else who could do as many things as he does and be as excited and motivated about it as he is. Um, like, I, I can't really think of anyone else who could do that. I originally started with JV's program Slipstream in 2007. Did a few years over in Europe and then sort of transitioned to cyclocross. Yeah, thank you. We did a good race. Yeah, we're doing good work. I would help out with the team uh, occasionally when they would come and do U.S. races, but then kind of came back with the team full-time in 2019. I met Tom in 2019, the Tour of California. Lachlan being chased by a pretty select group, but this is the aggression going over the king of the mountain points there on Kirkwood. So education first, clearly had a plan. The team wanted to branch out and sort of find some alternative events for the athletes to do. Originally, it was Lachlan, Alex Howes, and Taylor Finney. I don't even know why we started calling it the alternative calendar. I guess it was just an, an alternative to, you know, to road racing, um, but not necessarily mountain bike racing. But, you know, it was just sort of an, an alternative to all of it. To, it was an alternative to, to anything structured. And they sort of needed somebody that could do a little bit of everything for the program, sort of the alternative program originally. Most of the events we're doing are not road, road events, right? They're mountain bike races, gravel races, endurance off-road sort of adventures or, or events. And with that, Tom, none of the alternative program happens. Like right from the beginning, we were kind of learning what it meant to undertake such a, a program. And I think I checked most of the boxes in, in abilities. Equipment needs, nutrition needs, book accommodation. Tom does all of those things. Whatever Lachlan needs, whatever the program needs, um, I feel I'm capable of, of wearing a bunch of hats and, and getting that stuff done. And You know, even if he decided to stop doing one of those things, I think I'd be in trouble. Is the answer always yes, Hopper? Usually. I go up to the course with Lachlan and sort of just check it out and figure out what, you know, which options allow him to sort of try whatever option he's thinking might work and then, you know, maybe give him a little bit of feedback on what I think or, you know, just kind of collaborate with the equipment. It, I am so impressed. With ju just what the tire is doing, well, it tells me there's definitely some good um, weight distribution or balance. When I did my stint in cyclocross, you know, working with an individual athlete, building that sort of relationship, trust, you know, everything that goes along with a cyclocross and a mechanic sort of relationship, that's, that's what I enjoyed the most. And then I think it was easy for me to transition to this alternative program and work with, you know, these three athletes originally. Gotta find a way to wake up, it's 4 a.m. Do some map boy. It's got a belt buckle, huh? Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Keegan had a flat too. So that was Keegan just changed there. Situation? Situation. Everything is So Lachlan flatted for the first feed. Got a wheel change. Maybe he's four or five minutes back, I think, at the moment. I 
That's not so bad. But you think of how many people he passed. He passed, what, oh, like 30 people? Yeah, yeah, beers is still back there. Yeah. The main thing I shouldn't have done is run over that huge rock, I'm guessing. Yeah, ideally you go around those. Yeah, should have gone around that rock. We enjoy moving at a similar tempo through the day. Yeah, we share a similar sense of humour, so that we always have a good laugh. But I think more than anything, we just share a lot of time together <laughs> because we're on the road a lot together and essentially like that's that's our team. It definitely goes above and beyond with everything and um, it's very organized and kind of calculated, thinks things through. Just kind of like yin and yang. Uh, I'm sometimes not as organized. Um, don't think things are as much, but I'm happy to just give things a go. So, uh, yeah, between the two of us, it seems to to work really well. Yeah, I'm kind of getting goosebumps thinking about just the adventures that sort of Lachlan and I have been on. There's a whole bunch. I, I think, I think Unbound this year with Lachlan, that's my favorite moment so far. And I had like a distinct thought before that sprint where I was like, it's pretty sweet. I've already got like second in the bag. Like I can be happy either way. Knowing the work that Lachlan puts in and, and his sort of attention, just the type of racer that he is and knowing that he wants to get results and he's capable of these results. And then I was thinking, I was like, Tom, Tom will be so nice about me coming second that I just couldn't... I was like, I can't do it, like, to win again, you know? I was like, I just need Here to... Here come our riders coming down to the line. Morton's got it! Lachlan! I think putting it all together at an event like Unbound and then seeing him at the finish, I would say that would be my favorite memory, uh, our moment so far. Winning that, and he was right there, he was line, and... It was like very special, you know, because I feel like a lot of what he does goes unseen from a lot of people, even from me, you know. I think also no one really understands the way I go about things outside of my wife, probably as well as Tom. So he also understands that like, in my own way, I've worked hard. Um, and so, yeah, it was just really asked to have that, like, come of validation it was nice. Is this my dream job? It's pretty close. There are some events on, on the roadside that I really miss when I see, but Lachlan and I get to go to some amazing events. And I would say this, at this moment, this, yeah, this is my dream job.